Okay, senior race over. Not gonna say who won. Because, well, actually I could say. Nah, I'm too lazy to. All right, let's get a car out. From the bin. Oh, come on. Why is this car? I have both the Ed and the Renus in the in in my box right now. And they're right this, oh my God, I picked, they were on the top and the bottom, on the top and to the right of the car I picked. Fine, we're just not gonna have any fun reviews. Connor Daily bit now. Actually, we do have a bit to talk about for this car. Hmm, this could be a spicy one, actually. So here's a car that was only half driven by Connor Daily in 2023. There we go. Um, first thing first, what is going on here? This looks wonky over here now with all the sponsors. Let's go over the sponsors quickly, actually, as well. And, and, and then we'll go over everything else I want to talk about for this car. Here is a look at the trading card. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very plain as well, actually. This is like a this is one of the plainer ones I think I've seen somehow. Um, yep. Yeah. So here is, it, it's a really good looking car, actually. The gold really works with this, and that kind of purple, it, it is a purple, actually. It, it, it makes it work even better. That turning green's a bit weird, though. Um, so on the front end, we got 20, Chevrolet. Can't read. Like, I hate that might help me. Herge? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. At DT IndyCar Series, at Government Racing, FirestoneBitNow.com. What's on the side here? The same machine. BitNile. BitNile.com. A couple contingencies down there. Sonax, BitNile, Chevrolet, contingencies. Her Herco? Herco is that sponsor over here. Turning Green, Penzo Fuel, um, Pay, PPG, NTT IndyCar Series, Chevrolet, Bit Nile, 20, Greenlight, is that Greenlight or is that Daily? I thought it was, green. it thought it was Greenlight for some reason, but it's not. It's some other sponsor I can't read. Um, Old Alliance, that's also one of the sponsors right here. That's old, that's the one under the circle sponsor, BitNile.com. And that's it. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't like the green here. Turn in green as it's a gold car. Don't really get that. But okay. Another thing. Connor, Connor ran this car. Till like, I think Detroit last year. And then Ryan Hunter Ray came in and replaced him. Hunter Ray didn't do much else in the 20 car either. But then they also changed the car up for Ryan when he ran the car. And I didn't like it. Like, I think it was either the same colors and a brighter blue-ish kind of color here, or they just completely changed up the color scheme here. I don't know exactly what it was. Also, Daily ran this, like, gambling car at the 500. I don't I don't know. I didn't like that either for the 500. I think this car would have looked a lot better than the Indy 500, if you ask me. The gold, this is, like, one of the first actual golden cars I think I've seen in IndyCar. Uh, we have that Elio car that's gold a bit. I don't, I don't think there's anything else. I gotta go check, actually. Hold up. Let's go. Let me, let me go. Here are the other gold cars I can find in my collection. Okay. First up, the Elio. It, it was pretty good. Pretty good gold. But that one's just a bit... This one's a bit brighter. Works a little bit better. The Hinchcliffe 2017 gold was... Uh, it, it wasn't even gold. So that's just brown. With a bit of glare, glitter on it, almost. I, I, I call it glitter. I don't know. The 2019 car actually isn't even that much better. It's actually pretty, it's probably the closest to the 20 car, but still, the 20 car just has, it's, it's got, I think it's because the colors they used, really, but the purple works with it, and it works a lot better, and, and it works a lot better than the 2022 car as well. Personally, absolutely love this thing, and I love the designs that um, ECR did with their cars. I should have done a triple review, actually, if I was smart. Um, I think the other cars also have some gold, so we'll go over that in those reviews. Yeah, they also all have gold. Anyways, all the ECR cars also have the same layout in paint scheme, or sorry, in livery, and they all look absolutely, they just looked so fantastic, and just, mm, it was dialed, they dialed in last year. This year, not so much. 
Like we got we got Remus with this ask Roy dog com thing my Bob that half the time they don't even put the sponsor on the side of the car, which makes me feel one, it's not a sponsor they can have in half the places in the world, or two, they cut the fighting really quick. Um, and then Rasmussen's got like I don't know, some other sponsor and he wrecks half the time in the car. Anyways, it, it's a mess. ECR's a mess now with their liveries. These ones look so much better. Um, here is a look at the 2022 Connor Daly. Um, I did I did like that car in the review, but it does, it look, I mean, I think for BitNile being a currency kind of thing and all that crypto stuff, um, I think kind of this digital, I, I you could call it a digital, you could almost call it like, almost like a muddy kind of look when you have mud all splashed over, but I'd call it more of a digital look than anything. I think it looks much better than what we had in 2022. Um, also, the numbers overall just look better. I didn't, I didn't like that 20 number. I really didn't. And also, they didn't scrub the front nose like I, they did with the daily car. Mention this as well. I don't know what happened here. It's like a race version or something. Turning green's also on this car. Again, a green car on uh, the green on these cars don't look good. Shouldn't be there. Should not be there at all. There isn't really anything that is similar to these cars. Um, made the contingencies, but even though the sponsor placement's different. Um, one note is this, this one has the number 20 on the back instead of, uh, 2022 has the number on the back. The 2023 does not, which makes you feel that this was based off the road course, or sorry, not the road course, get the Speedway Arrow kit firsthand. I think that's what they're doing there. I think I may have discussed this again in a previous video. They based the livery off of either the Speedway car or the road course car. And I'm assuming if they, I'm pretty sure they also released the 118, it's in the Speedway kit. I almost want to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's how they do it now. If they make the 118 in the Speedway kit, they make the Speedway kit livery for the 164. If they make it in the road course kit, then they'll put the, one, the road course livery on here. So the only difference really ever is um, maybe some of the sponsors up here or like the colors for the road course kit won't get shown. And if it's a Speedway kit, they probably won't have the numbers on the side because it's so small and it's unnoticeable almost. Um, that That's my opinion on that, maybe. I, I don't really know what else it could be, but but it could be something else. So, yeah, anyways, right on a rape. Didn't do much in this car. Now we've got Christian Rasmussen. Honestly, I think Connor Daly was the better choice. Christian Rasmussen, I'm sorry, really has not done jack this year. I can't remember one good moment that he's had this year. I'm not going to lie, except for any... Okay, Oh, we're not even going to count the Indy 500 because he was actually doing pretty good there and probably should have got a rookie of the year. But he was in the 33 car then, so it doesn't count, okay? We don't care about that 33 car. We're talking about the 20 car. Ed also did not even think had a good race either. Like, Ed Carpenter has been absolutely dog water, really. The only pro I've seen out of them is Renus winning a race and getting pulled once or twice. And even that's, bit, that's pushing it a bit. They haven't done much. Like... The last time I saw him competitive weekend we get was with New Garden. Maybe, you know what? I'll put in Jared Hildebrand when he ran that 21 car because on the ovals, he was fast. And they were just unlucky in 2017 when he got, when he was in that car. And probably should have been hired longer, but whatever. He got robbed. I'm just going to say it. Jared Hildebrand deserved a full-time ride there. And I'm guessing he just didn't have the funding because they had um, Fuzzy Vodka back then as a sponsor. I think they had a different sponsor in the 21 car, though, for, like, Ed Jones or, um, was it, um, Spencer Pickett? Or was it, like, jo it was Jordan King. I don't think Pickett ever ran for ECR. Or, no, Pickett maybe ran the 500. I don't know. Pickett, I feel like, ran for ECR at some point. Either way, the 20 car isn't doing much this year. I don't see ECR really being competitive for a while. And if Reigns VK ever wants to win a race again, he's probably got to go find a new team. And the problem is, I don't think many people are going to want him. I don't think he has much sponsorship. I'm not going to lie. Like, I thought at first BitNile was his sponsor because he always ran at the 500. But also, now they were, like, on, on all the ECR cars, and now they're just, like, a title badge. Not even a title badge. They're just, like, sponsors sometimes on the fire suit, which I don't even think they're on the fire suit anymore because I think they went bankrupt or something like that. Anyways. Yeah. Connor, he did pretty good this year, I think, if I remember. I don't think he did much the 500, but he kept the car clean. Blasted longer than... Hunter Ray, when Hunter Ray got block, cock blocked by Dixon. Good times. And he hasn't done much else since. Although this podcast is quite good, and I do recommend it. 
That's about all we've seen of Connor Daly's here. He didn't race anything else, right? He hasn't been in a race car lately. Like, I'm, ju I'm just trying to think here. No, when he got kicked out, when he got kicked out of this car, he ran for Meyer Shank and stuff. I thought for a second he ran it, but Elio, so, Elio replaced Bloomquist, and now we got Malukas. And that's all for the Simon Pagano video. I'll talk all about that. He hasn't ran out anything else. He probably won't. He'll probably be stuck to an Indy 500 only ride now, I'm guessing now, from here on out. Maybe an Ovals only ride. I would think if we still had Carlin, God rest our souls, we actually enjoyed having them on the grid. I'm like, who goes? Like, why didn't Carlin just keep the car, honestly? Um, then maybe we'd see more Connor Daly, but he, he just didn't do much else, honestly. And I, I, I kind of see why. He was kind of just a sponsor figure, I feel like. And Doug Bowles, of course, what W of a man. Um, I think that's his, like, stepson or nephew, isn't it? Or step-nephew. It's, there's, I think it's a stepson relative for him. That That's why I always had, I feel like, that. that's why I always feel like he had a 500 ride. He was always kind of pushing people to hire him, and he is pretty good at the 500. I don't remember much of what he did this year, though, not gonna lie. Um, but it looked good. Also, it looks really yellow here. If I open my blind again. Oh, the, the gold just looks dang good. Definitely pick this one up. Absolutely, I would say this one is better than this disaster class now. This car is, this is the peak. This is the epitome of perfect. If only they learned. Just saying. They just need to learn. This is how you make a livery. So with that, then, that's all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.